Hi guys, my friend the robot is here today to help me learn about addition and subtraction problems under 20. He should be around here. Do you see him? There you are, you silly little guy. Please come over here and help me go through some math questions. Here is the first problem we have. Sam has four hats and Josh has eight hats. How many do they have all together? To solve this problem, we can show how many hats Sam and Josh have. I happen to have the hats here, but you guys can draw hats on a piece of paper to answer questions like this. Sam has four hats. One, two, three, four. Josh has eight hats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The question is asking how many we have all together. All together means putting the groups of items together. We also call this adding. We are adding Sam's four hats with Josh's eight hats to find out how many we have all together. We are going to use a strategy called counting on, which means we will start with one of the groups and count up from there to count all the hats. Let's start with the group of eight and count on. Eight. 9, 10, 11, 12. There are 12 hats all together. Great job! Hey, can we get some help clearing the board? Thanks. Here is another problem. Henry has four fewer cats than John. John has nine cats. How many cats does Henry have? In the problem, we don't know how many cats Henry has, and we need to find that out. We know that John has nine cats, and Henry has four fewer cats than John. The word fewer means a smaller number. Having the word fewer in the problem helps us know we will need to subtract to get our answer. Here are nine cats, which represent how many John has. Henry has four fewer, so we will cross four of them out. Now we can count the remaining cats. One, Two, three, four, five. The answer is five. Henry has five cats. Great job again, guys. Here is another problem. Sam has three more pumpkins than Jim. Jim has six pumpkins. How many pumpkins does Sam have? We know Jim has six pumpkins, as you see here, but we don't know how many pumpkins Sam has. The question says Sam has three more, so we are going to add three more pumpkins. Now we can count on from Jim's pumpkins. Jim had six, and we count on from six. Seven, eight, nine. Sam has nine pumpkins, which is three more than Jim does. Great job again! You guys are getting really good at this. Let's clear the board and do one last problem. The problem says Cindy has seven cakes. Susie has nine. How many more cakes does Susie have than Cindy? This is similar to problems we just went over. In this problem, we are going to be using subtraction to find out how many more cakes Susie has than Cindy. Let's start by drawing the nine cakes Susie has. To find out how much more, we are going to cross out the seven cakes that Cindy has to show us how many are left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have crossed out seven cakes. How many are left? Two cakes. Great job, guys. Susie has two more cakes than Cindy does. Wow, you guys did great today. Mr. Robot, can you clear off the board again for us? Thanks. Um, wait, don't swing that broom or you might, you might hit, ouch, that hurt. <laughs>